What is up, everybody? Welcome back to round number three. Uh, we're gonna mulligan this ob, and we're gonna keep this ob, and we're gonna top this ob. No, bottom, top. I do want a third land. Bottom. That might have been wrong. By the way, if we were on the draw, I would have kept, but I think I want the third land. Because, like, I want to be able to play some by hand. Oh, God. If they don't do anything, it's going to be kind of tough for them. If they just, like, play land, say go. Alright, I hope we draw another land next turn, because then we can attack with this one, let it trade for something, and then Bone Picker will capture Avenger. That'd be mad cute. Alright. By the way, a catcher's Avenger just too strong. Oh, baby, Essence Scattered. Don't at me, bro. I guess they're discarding a land here. Oh, they're discarding an Aven Initiate. That's spicy. Okay, well, that either means that they need their lands, or they just don't think Aven Initiate does enough here. You search the library for a creature card with internalizer and put that in, from your put that into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Okay. So they're gonna be able to make this next turn, which is kind of sick. Yeah, this card's insane. Vizier the Anointed. Our aggro deck might not get there. On um, the play, our aggro deck might not get there with uh, with two drop, two drop, two drop. That's gotta be that's gotta be a bad sign. What? Angel of something? I really don't like angels. Um, do I ever just attack with everything? I guess I could, theoretically. Like... I get to play a bone picker or something? Because huh, this is not going to leave the battlefield, probably. Hmm. Alright, what do I do here? I guess I just, like, Deserts hold this. Well, I could Deserts hold this, and then attack with both of these. That could be sweet. Alright, you know what? I'll just Deserts hold the Angel. Gotta do what you gotta do here. Maybe they just, like, unsummon their own guy and then replay it? Nope. Alright, not too happy about this. However, the opponent is at 14, so if we can get them into single digits, all of a sudden they are, like, within the realm of dying. They're gonna bring back that guy now. Yep. What? A draw card? Oh my god. How is that even fair? How do they gain a bunch of life? Oh. Alright, well, we're pretty dead here, but uh, we're trying some stuff out, I guess. Uh, there's no reason not to attack. If they just block block, at least we can, like, kill something, maybe. Should we kill this here? We probably should, though, right? Or maybe we should kill... I don't know. I think we should kill this. Alright, our opponent goes back down to 14. Um, 
But if they draw land, they get to play an Aven Initiate. We killed their best card. This is still insane. I don't even know. They did have to discard a card, though, so... Maybe that makes sense. Alright, attacking for five, not a big deal. Shimmer Scale Drake. Interesting. I was going to say, need a land there so that I can Bone Picker. Uh, with that weakness, is about to be good on this next turn. They can kill me in a few draw steps. They can also just, like, land Aven Initiate, I guess, if they wanted to. Playing against Esper. We're in the finals, let's remember. Um, people constantly saying that, uh... This format, like, people saying how slow this format might not, or might be, like, this aggro deck trying to prove them wrong, although against a bunch of four toughness creatures, it's going to be hard. Also, this is a game on the play. These are the games we got to win if we can, and it's looking tough here. It's not looking impossible, right? If we draw land, we get to play Merciless Eternal without weakness. Afflict can do some damage for sure, um, but it's definitely not looking great, I would say. Alright, I'm gonna stay on the aggressivist side. If they don't block this bone picker, then that's fine. If they do block this bone picker, I'm going to, without weakness, mummy paramount. Alright, they didn't block it. I think I'm going to merciless eternal. Um, afflict 2 is huge, plus having mummy paramount, plus without weakness next turn is huge. Yeah, just having all the afflict. By the way, three, four toughness blockers is, is really, really difficult to get through here. I mean, it's like this is a three, three. I, if I use this on a on a four toughness creature, like the game's almost in better shape for me, but I can't even do that. <laughs> so tilting. Wow, maybe their plan is their plan ever to double block bone picker here. No, okay. So I can, without weakness, mummy paramount here. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm just attacking. I'm just bringing the whole team. I got, I got the team on my back, though. It's okay. Putting the team on my back for this one. I gotta make something happen. Yeah, they're gonna take one. That's fine. Yep, they're going to take two. That's fine. So I could actually, without weakness, play Mummy Paramount. That's possible. I could also discard without weakness and kill this thing, but then they trade. Alright, I like making... I could also make this indestructible. I like making this indestructible, though. Because it has a flick, too. So our opponent's suddenly at 5, although I don't really untap till the next turn. But this Merciless Eternal is looking to do some damage. If I draw anything that's not a land, I get to do at least 2 damage with this on the next turn. If I draw a land, I might just win soon with final reward if they're not careful if they're like too hasty trying to close out this game i could just win soon yeah i don't think their hand is all lands because like they did draw a naga oracle um and they didn't play a land last turn but they played a land the turn before that so I don't think their hand is all lands. I have that on. I have that on uh, high confidence. Is there any way I can win this game? No. I guess by them messing up, I can win this game.
Okay, they blocked. Yeah, that's fine. All right, if they block, I lose. That's how it works. All right, what can we do here? Um, Ruin Rat is going to be like surprisingly good against all their nonsense. Uh, Disposal Mummy is going to be surprisingly good. Merciless Eternals were like decent at closing out the game, but not as good. Miasma Mummy is not going to be as good. Wander and Death's going to be decent. Without weakness isn't going to be as good now that they've seen the trick. Merciless Eternal is good at getting in the last few points of damage, I think. I think I want to take out the... Yeah, I think I want to take out those two cards now that they've seen them. Alright, we're, we're going to try to get there. We could also put in an own Kopesh just to try to get like through their blockers. That's totally fine. Um, let's take out a Wandering Death, actually. I think we need to be more aggressive. Alright, uh, this is, I guess, a hand that we can get behind. Like, I'll keep it, but I need to draw some good stuff. Right, I mean, we have removal. We have a two drop. Uh, we have a lot of creatures in our deck, like 17, and we have, or 16 left or whatever, and we have two draw steps, so we're likely to draw a creature at some point. Even if they play like a 1-3 here, if they have to take a damage, that's pretty good. Alright, I'm just gonna attack. I'm going to make a dude and pass. All right, so we get to go two drop, three drop here on the play. Again, these are the games we have to win. If we can't win this game, I mean, this matchup is just hopeless. Which is 400% possible here. All right, and we get to play double two drop on turn four. Yeah, this, if we draw, if this Desert's Hold is a land, I think we'd be 92% to win this game or something. But they could just have like unsummon Sandblast. And now all of a sudden it's looking not good. Oh wow, they didn't even exert. I assume they're going to though. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're not. Uh, like the thing is, is when you when you think about these games complexly, you're always like, okay, I just need to. You're always just like, okay, I need to, uh, you know, play two drop, three drop, double two drop on the play, and that might be enough. And it might just not be enough. <laughs> Land's like suddenly not bad here. Okay. Attacking for eight, trying to make things happen. <sighs> yeah. All right, if they bring back Sun Scourge Champion and I draw a land, that's good for me. So they basically got to loot there. Ugh, draw gaining life is just so sick. Yeah, I might have done that the wrong way as well. Like, it's 100% possible that I should have uh, cycled this to try to draw the third land for a Wasteland Scorpion, but I think that having Angel of the God Pharaoh in my hand is, like, way better. Right, especially if all their, like, flyers are three twos, then just having a four power flyer is insane, right? Isn't it? That has to be insane. All right, not attacking with anything. That doesn't do anything. Final reward will do stuff next turn, though, although this just makes another 1-1. One, one. How is this card even real? How do they just have, like, a better white aggressive deck than us? How dare they? How dare they, I say. Alright, Dauntless Haven's gonna be fine. 
Um, it's just another flyer here. Sorry, the fan just got turned on. I apologize. All right, 4-4 four, four coming in. And I'm just going to play Dauntless Haven. I mean, I'm going to try to win in the air. Final reward is going to try to do some work. Um, Dauntless Haven is going to make it so that I can constantly untap this Oketra's Avenger. I'm going to kill the stupid Haven Initiate. I'm going to hope they don't play any more flyers that I can't block or whatever. A Dauntless Haven of their own. Interesting. All right, killing this Aven Initiate for sure. Again, I guess I could have killed the 4-4 and then, like, gotten a little busy. But. All right, I'll untap that because that's cute. Too cute. Can't not do it. All right, if they want to attack, Aven if they want to block Avenger for Avenger, they can do it here. They kind of have to. They're going to go to 8. I have this disposable this disposal money, mummy. I don't know how good it is. Um, I just hope they don't like draw land or whatever. Desert of the Mindful is decent. Oh, uh, no. I wonder if they top deck the land for that or the angel. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. It's not a lot I can do there. Right, Merciless Eternal. Disposal mummy. I'll get this Dauntless Haven out of the yard. I'm going to attack with the mummy paramount. If I get to trade with anything, it's just a win. If I attack with... If, if they just block with a warrior, like, whatever, I guess I got a creature off the battlefield. These are the games I have to figure out how to win, right? This is this is the game I have to figure out how to win here. I don't know if I can, but I gotta I gotta try to figure it out at least. They're just gonna block with all the warriors. All right, how do we do this? We could kill a warrior and a one three, or we could just kill all the one ones. I think I just kill all the one ones. Yeah, look at uh, look at this coming through. I mean, basically just traded for a mummy paramount, which is a little insane. If we draw a land, or uh, the reason I'm saving this angel is because I think one of the ways we win is by drawing a removal spell. Can I just push it here? Yeah, I guess I'll just push it to the limit here. Our opponent's at 8, they have one card in hand, I don't I don't want them to draw out of this. This is tapped for an extra turn, like, I'm just pushing it. Whatever, they're gonna, like, block here, they're gonna, like, kill this disposal mummy. They're gonna have to figure out what to do here, they don't know what's in my hand. It could be a pump spell, it could be whatever. Maybe that was wrong, I don't know. Yeah, I look if I draw a removal spell off the top and I just should have waited for Angel, then I'm gonna look like an idiot. Our opponent is at two here, but so if we draw another merciless eternal, we win. But if we top deck a removal spell, we just would have won with Angel, so this could look a real bad. Alright, we drew the best card in the deck. Alright, we might, uh, yeah, okay. Oh my god, their deck is just so good at clogging the ground here. I don't think they can beat us. I don't think they can kill us this turn, I should say. Alright, Striped Riverwinder, I think this card is mediocre at best. It's bad in this matchup, because, like, 
they're so rarely getting to seven mana or whatever. Do they have a removal spell? Is the last card in their hand a removal spell? The last card in their hand is a removal spell. They drew into drew into removal spell. How lucky that must how how nice is it to be lucky? Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. They uh, they top decked into removal spell there, they, we couldn't do it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, love your faces, see you tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe to this here channel, Seems Good Magic. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.